Nancy today. Well, there's a big storm coming. It's going to be coming for the next two days. This is uh, February something, 6th or I don't remember. Anyway, I'm at Esther's. And I was going to show you something that I thought it would be really nice for you to know. Now, in a stream, no matter how cold it is, there are little bugs and animals that live on the rocks in the water. Now, if you were to take a rock out of there right now, it's pretty cold, so those bugs are probably quite content to be underwater and hibernating. But, I'm going to take a rock out from under the water. And I'm going to put it in regular temperature water. And you'll be able to see the, the, um, the little fish and bugs and things will start to warm up and move around in the water. So, I guess we'll do that first. I was going to go for a walk. And this wasn't really in my plan to go and do this now, but I might as well. I'm going to also turn my car around so that it won't be um, hard to get it out after the storm. Okay, so. We'll just go in the house. And we will. This is so neat. Darn car. I don't know what those are for, you know, those alarm things. Nobody listens when they go off. Okay, so I'm going to get some water. I'm going to put it, this rock in it. Hi, puppy. I did. Let's see, I'm, making, I'm doing an experiment. I took a rock out of the stream. I took a rock out of the stream. And I'm putting it in here, and I'm going to wait and see what little animals come off of it. Because as they warm up, they'll start to swim away. And environmentalists have called it a toxic time bomb. Could take them a minute. Arrived at the specialist shipyard at <laughs> so how are you this morning? Pretty good. ABC News. So you're now a hundred and a hundred and six days old? Something like that. <laughs> we sure look good. No, not a hundred and six days. A hundred years and six days. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> I got to get the credit for all those years. In many more. You must have watched the many US things happen. Reserve currency in the second most traded in the world after the US dollar. But the euro is currently in bad health. It's been sliding against the dollar, dropping below one thirty. Okay, I think we're going to have to come back and look at this later. Over the death loads 
being carried by several of the European countries that share it, including Portugal, Spain, and most dramatically, Greece. And fears that these countries might default on their debts has been depressing global markets. Uh, let's hear first from the BBC Sarah Rainsford in the Spanish capital Madrid, where it's just been announced that the economy is still stuck in recession. Okay, well, I'm not going to wait here for this. So it's February 5th, 9.17 a.m. So we will move this out of the way. Just leave it here and see what happens. Okay, you can try this at home. Bye.